Imagine Western Oregon, summertime, blue skies, beautiful woods, warm, warm days, and then lots and lots and lots of fiddling. We went to fiddle camp. We are the learners and the makers. I feel like fiddle camp is just such a, it's right in the middle of our summer and it's just such a great family event. Yes. Um, even though so far I'm the only one in our family that participates, both our kids play violin and um, they know a few fiddle tunes, but at this point, they've either been too young or just not quite ready to participate in the classes. Yeah. So usually what we've been doing is Jody teaches at this camp, and then I kind of take care of the camp site. We tent camp there and keep an eye on the kids while they run around and just enjoy themselves. I think some people think, like, why do you all go if... <laughs> If Jody's the only one teaching there, like, why don't I just go by myself? But that would mean being apart. Yeah, I think that that's what we always come back to. It's yeah. like we can all just go. We have this great week. We got a lot of time outside, some great music. Part of what's so fun about this, this camp is put on by the Oregon Old Time Fiddlers Association, or UTFA for short, and it's the like Western Cascades Fiddle Camp. What's so cool is people come from all over the region for this. They bring their pop-ups, they bring their RVs, and you've just got this cluster of people where we're on like a school campus, so there's all this area for people to camp in. You've got jams going on all over the place. Kids who aren't in classes are running around, and then in the late afternoon once classes are done, you know, you've got more kids running around. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it's a really special environment that is among, I think, the most family-friendly and safe-feeling places I have ever been to. Yeah. Our kids kind of just roam around and yeah. hang out with all the other kids while I'm teaching. And, yeah. and so they much, entertain themselves, mostly. They well, and so much of the fun, too, is how all ages it truly is. Because you've got everyone from you know, kindergartners who are just figuring out how to scratch out, like, boil them cabbage down on their fiddle, to seniors who have been at this for decades. So seeing not just the children, but seeing all of this crossover, generation to generation, and people of all ages playing music together and learning together, it makes it a really special time. I think especially in our culture, you don't always see that mixing of generations. Of course, while we're there, it's a chance for me to get to play quite a bit. Um, and between first that first night, there's always a faculty concert. And I've been lucky enough to connect with some old friends and we play at the faculty concert every year. It's pretty cool. <laughs> We're gonna play Joseph Hughes Waltz for you.
always really enjoy what you come up with. Yeah. The three of you, yeah. And then also, in the evenings, I have to say, I don't do a whole lot of parenting at this. <laughs> because during the day, I'm busy teaching. And then in the evenings... You're busy jamming. I'm busy jamming. <laughs> This year, Fiddle Camp was in a new location, and I think nobody really knew how it was going to go or what it was going to be like, but it was beautiful. Our tent was kind of at the top of this hill where there's a field, and we just got the most gorgeous sunsets. We got these tree-covered hills. We're just looking out toward the west. It was so pretty. Yeah. So we were really pleased um, in a lot of ways about the new location. Mm -hmm. It was a good fit, I think. Well, there are some other nice things, like the, right down from where we were camping, get a bunch of people camping in a line, and then right down from that, there's this big track and field area for the school. So the kids just really, all the children gravitated toward that area, mm -hmm. which was great. They all had this area where most of them were running around, and it was really easy to see them. Yeah. Then there was also a little playground on the site, so you had that for kids to play on too. Something that was really neat as well, I was chatting with one of the other parents there one day and she was telling me that there's this little like nature walk area in kind of a corner of the property. So I took the kids up there a couple times and it was so serene. Just all these, this very like thought out little kind of garden with a little path and you've got, it was just very thoughtfully done and just this very quiet area to reflect and just have a nice peaceful walk. It was really pretty up there. So, when we were going to sleep in the tent, I got to go outside and look at the stars that the night sky. Did they you, were pretty special of myself. Did you see lots of stars? Yeah. There were so many stories, I couldn't count them all. We went on a special nature walk and ended up in a beautiful, beautiful garden. The garden was so pretty with beautiful flowers. I really liked the flowers that were in there. There were lots of flowers in it, which made it so pretty. Aster was so oh, was into so it involved. that yeah. she like asked to go and then take pictures so she could show me what was on the yeah. little trail and it was just sweet. It was. Well, we always really look forward to fiddle camp. It is like even though Jody is teaching and she is very in her music self for the week, there's still this really special time that we're together 
sharing this thing that is really important to us as a family. And it's this other little like travel experience. We're camping, we're seeing some you know different people and whatnot, we're in a slightly different place. And it's just kind of its own special world. Like you know you've only got a few days and you really make the most of it. So you really are intentional about enjoying that time. Because you know you won't have it again for another year. Yeah. Thanks for joining us while we were at Fiddle Camp. And you can find us on Instagram at Learners and Makers. And on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you get notified whenever we post a new video. See you next time. <laughs> but it was... Beautiful. And...